Okay, we're going to talk about density and how to do a density using density as a conversion factor. The first thing to know about density is it tells you uh, the behavior of the substance in other substances. The number value of the density, if the units are the same, uh, tells you which one will float or sink in another. So if I look at the mercury down here, its density is around 13 grams per milliliter. That's much greater than that of water, which is one gram per milliliter. Now, um, the brass nut here has a density that is between that of water and liquid mercury. So the brass nut is floating on the mercury, but sinking in the water. The liquid mercury, because this water, its density is so much greater than both the brass nut and the water, it sinks. The cork has a density of around half a gram per milliliter, and sometimes even less depending on the cork. And as a result, its density is much less than that of water, so it floats. Uh, density is defined as mass over volume. And uh, when you always are given a density, it's all, you're always going to see the units of mass over volume. The most common that we see is grams per milliliter or grams per centimeter cubed. Remember that a centimeter cubed is the same thing as a milliliter. Uh, with things like gases, because the density is so small, they usually give the units in grams per liter rather than milliliter. And you will see other things also. Uh, in the metric system, the density of water is defined as exactly one gram per milliliter at four degrees Celsius, which is the most dense temperature of water. So we can write one gram per milliliter like this. You're expected to know that the density of water is a gram per milliliter. It varies slightly as you uh, go away from 4 degrees Celsius, it increases. But in general terms, for anything other than precise work, the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter. Uh, you will see, along with density, specific gravity. This is a unitless way to express, de express density. Density is always gives is always given in units of mass over volume, usually gram per milliliter. When we are looking at specific gravity, it's divided by the density of water. Well, uh, it is density divided by the de uh, density of water, the density of the substance divided by the density of water. So if I look at the density of water, it's one gram per milliliter at approximately at room temperature. So basically, when you divide density in grams per milliliter by the density of water, one gram per milliliter, what you effectively do is remove the units. So uh, as far as we're concerned, uh, to convert density to specific gravity, you just remove the units of grams per milliliter. And to convert specific gravity to density, all you have to do is add the units of grams per milliliter. When we go to do density problems, the easiest way to use density is as an equivalency statement that gives you a conversion factor. Here is an example. The density of ethanol is written as 0.79 grams per milliliter. We can write it like this, which is a conversion factor. Basically, when you give a density, you are saying that a certain volume, one milliliter, is a specific mass for that substance. So it is an equivalency statement, and this fraction here now is equal to 1. This can be used to do a conversion. So if you have 22 grams of ethanol, you can take its density and go from gram, see gram cancels out, to milliliter, and you notice where do I put the 0.79? When I say the density is 0.79 grams per milliliter, so the 0.79 is with gram, and it must be that in the conversion factor. You do the math and you come up with 28 milliliters. So here's a problem. What is the volume of a chunk of lithium metal that has a mass of 
43.5 grams and the density is 0.53 grams per centimeter cubed. The hint is start your conversion with the given measurement, which is 43.5 grams. Listen to this. Never start a density problem with the density. There's a 50% chance that you will end up with upside down units. So it's best to start with the measurement that is not density. So go ahead and pause this lecture and do the problem and then restart it to check your answer. To do this problem, we start by writing 43.5 grams. Now we're going to write a times and a flat fraction line. On the fraction line, we put the units so that we get cancellation. Grams cancels with gram and we go to centimeter cubed. Why are we using centimeter cubed? because that's the density given to us. We can replace centimeter cubed with milliliter, but it's unnecessary to do that. So now we complete the conversion factor by making sure that the denominator is equal to the numerator. So right here, 0.53 grams is a centimeter cubed because that is the density. So I cancel my units and I get centimeter cubed as the answer. I do the math of 43.5 and I do divided by because this is in the the denominator. So 43.5 divided by 0.53 and that gives us 82 centimeter cubed. 